This was the default SpongeBob rig. We built him in a way that we could move every piece of his body independently so that we can essentially draw him in any pose. With every element of the face separate, it really helped to bring out the originality, handmade feel, and custom look to the poses in the acting. Our main source of reference was the show, which we used to keep the film's consistency levels high. Here are the animation curves of a regular animated film. And here are the curves of a final animated shot in Spongebob, which was animated on twos. The storyboards were referred to often to help the animators make choices for their shots. We added hand-painted brushstrokes on top of the quick movements to help sell the 2D animation effect. Since the rig was all in different pieces, we were able to do crazy poses and also allowed us to duplicate any piece of geometry. Working to camera was important. Changing the angle, everything kind of fell apart. We preferred sketches and drawings in 2D animation for reference over video reference at all time. His mouth beak, his nose, his cheeks, pretty much this entire face had to be redesigned every time he changed angles. One of the many reasons why working to the camera was so important. And that is how you animate Spongebob. We don't care about little imperfections or even big ones. It's like a Twidway. 